How's everybody doing? This is Lethal Black Man on Lethal Black Man channel, of course. You know, every so often I run into dummies on YouTube, and I want to call them dummies because I don't really want to call them when I really want to call them. Me calling them dummies is actually being nice. But there's some very misinformed, uneducated, and very ignorant people. And they can call me ignorant because they think that because I talk the way I talk against racism and white people and interracial dating as a whole, that I'm ignorant and racist, which is nonsense, okay? But there's a person that came on the video that I recently did and said that I should stop worrying about who's sleeping with who. Okay, if we didn't have to worry about who's sleeping with who, then we wouldn't have to worry about rape cases. We wouldn't have to worry about sexually transmitted diseases, okay? But you want us to stop worrying about who's sleeping with who. I don't see. I don't think that people seem to understand the bigger picture when it comes to interracial dating and why I talk against it so much. The same reason why we have channels that promote interracial dating, okay, are the same reasons that I have a problem against them and talk against them. Promoting interracial dating promotes black people. I'm talking about my people. I'm not give a fuck about anybody else. I'm talking about mine. This promotes black people being with people that don't look like them, having children that won't identify with them, and as a whole, making black people look absolutely foolish. Okay? But when I talk against interracial dating, I'm not doing it out of hatred. I'm doing it out of a complete dislike for it, yes, but not hatred. I'm doing it also because I believe in black love, as I have said many times, many times, so many times that you should have it in your head by now that I am all about black people together with each other, having black children, black love, okay? It kills me, and I mean this, it kills me when I see a black woman with a white man, with an Asian man, with a non-black man, period. It kills me. So much so that I cannot even watch television shows that I may enjoy otherwise if they put an interracial agenda in it. It could be one of the best shows on television as far as I'm concerned. Once I see interracial dating between a black man and a white woman or a black woman and a white man, I cannot bring myself to watch it anymore. I just cannot do it. I recently watched a film called Georgia, Georgia. I think I talked about it in the last video starring Diana Sands, who I spoke about before, who was a swirler. Beautiful black light-skinned woman, but a swirler, okay? And we've had dark-skinned women swirlers as well. I'm just saying she just happened to be light-skinned, this woman. And that movie had, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to watch that movie again in its entirety. I can't. OK, I can't watch any movie that has a black woman in a romantic relationship with a white man. I can't bring myself to be friends with any black woman that is in a romantic relationship with a white man. I can't bring myself as a black man to respect a black woman that is in a relationship with a white man. I can't bring myself to respect a black man who is in a relationship with a white woman or a non-black woman. People with this love is love shit needs to fucking stop. Like I said, if love was love, you wouldn't get mad at people who want to have sex with animals. You wouldn't get mad at people that want to have sex with children, as disgusting as that is. Love is love, right? So let love, let love be. But we know that having sex with children is disgusting and wrong. We know that having sex with animals is disgusting and wrong. But you want to say love is love. Love is blind. You people need to stop. The only black people that will ever have a problem with this channel, the only black people that will ever give me any pushback on this channel are black people who love to interracially date. Black people that have no problem with white supremacy. White people are their saviors, okay? These are black people that will make excuses, any excuse they can think of to excuse racism that happens to black people, but they will not excuse their own people. These are black people that have no love for other black people. They only have love for white people or other non-black people. And we've said this many times. You guys know this 
as black people that are watching this video that there are black people that have a very severe hatred for other black people but they have a very deep and sick love for white people and non-black people as a whole but especially white people it pained me to find out that certain celebrities that I had crushes on or certain celebrities that I looked up to as a child were actually swirlers and I didn't think to look up this information when I was younger or in my teenage years because it didn't matter to me back then. But now, see, the thing is, now I'm almost done with the video, but I need to say this so black people can understand where I'm coming from, even though I know a lot of you black people out there hate me because you don't like the fact that I'm a black man speaking out against interracial dating, speaking out against, you know, speaking out against injustice against black people, speaking out against racism, okay? But I have to say this. The reason why it pains me so much as a black man to see black women with white men is because I value and treasure black women. Okay, I may criticize them. Yes, I criticize black men as well. But I treasure my women. So when I see my women who I feel are treasures to me with men who I don't believe deserve them. It hurts me to see that shit. It hurts me when I hear a black woman having a relationship with a white man and having his baby. Just recently on the Radical Sisters channel, she told about a black woman that's in a relationship with a white man who decided to bring a white woman on board, and now they're having sex with that woman. The white man is having sex with that white woman, and the black woman is having sex with that white woman as well. And they have three kids, three biracial children being raised in this insanity, okay? I'm not going to come on here and tell you that black relationships are perfect, but there is a reason why I feel so naturally connected to black women because I'm naturally attracted to them. And it is the gift that God has gifted to the black man, the black woman. And we are the gift that has been gifted to black women. That's why I can't respect black men who do what they do when it comes to degrading our women, when it comes to talking about how ugly they are. Our black women are not ugly. I love our black women, and there are many other men like me in the black community who love our women. We keep letting the enemy divide us. We keep letting people that work for the enemy, you want to call them agents, so I just call them idiots, who want to divide us. You keep letting them continue to lie and continue to deceive us, okay? It sucks. It's disgusting, and I can't stand it. I'm always going to have a problem with seeing a black woman with a white man because even when I didn't have this outspoken mind like I have now, the mental shackles off and I'm awakening and enlightening, knowing what my people are really about, knowing their greatness and loving my black self, loving my blackness with all my heart. Even then, when I wasn't even like this, I never liked interracial dating. I didn't think it was normal because it's not normal at all. There was always something that bothered me when I saw a black woman with a white man or any man who's not black. It, it just bothered me. Now it does more than bother me. It kills me to see it. That's why I can't watch television because most of the television shows now are interracial trash. Most of the movies that come out now are interracial trash. And yes, interracial dating is nothing new. Black women have been paired with white men before. Not on, the, not on the rate that it's going now, but it's happened before. Even one of my biggest crushes in the world, Pam Greer, actually swirled when she was in her 50s. She's currently on a show called Bless This Mess where she's with a white man as her boyfriend. I don't like that shit, but here, I'm not going to watch it. That's my, that's my uh, solution. I'm not going to watch that. But the thing I could respect about Pam Greer is she never really swirled when she was younger. She did mess with Freddie Prinze, but hey, who gives a fuck, okay? For the most part, this woman was about black men. But it hurts me when I see beautiful black women who have totally given up on black men because of bad things that have happened to them with black men in these relationships. And... These women are saying they have no choice but to swirl. They have no choice but to be with the oppressor because black men don't want them. So you are basically telling me that every single black man has told you that they don't want you. Black men who are telling me that black women don't want them. You're telling me every single black woman doesn't want you. 
You don't want to get an, uh, um, an African American woman. Go to Africa, find an African woman. I got an African woman. She's beautiful and she loves me. If you don't want to get an American, you can get get somebody else who's black. You guys completely throw away your entire race of people and go to the race of people who don't give a fuck about you. All it takes for black women who are into this shit because they already have a feeling of wanting to be into it is they just need a smile from the white man and a little bit of attention from him and they're going full circle into this interracial relationship. Come to find out it's not as glamorous, it's not as beautiful as Crystal and Karazin or some other people make it fucking seem. I still don't get the fact why women in the black community need to read a book on how to attract white men. Because if you can act a certain way with white men, you should be able to act the same way with black men. And I'm telling you because this is fucking true, black women. It's true. I've never seen a black woman have an attitude with a white man like she's had with a black man. She never acts the same way she acts with a white man as she does with a black man. It doesn't happen. And a lot of you black men to go with these white women are fucking pushovers. You allow things to happen that would never happen if you're with a black woman. You allow certain attitudes, certain behaviors to not be put in check that you will put in check in a minute when it comes to a black woman. You can't stand the fact that I'm a black man that talks against interracial dating. I'm called a simp. I'm called a loser. I'm called an asshole. My videos are called stupid. My videos will get a lot of views because YouTube doesn't like black men talking against interracial dating. They like black men promoting it. They like black women promoting it. I don't promote my people's destruction. I promote my people's progress and my people's greatness. Okay? I promote their love because there is love in the black community. Lots of it. If you continue sitting on social media watching certain people that have no good intentions towards the black community, you start believing the bullshit that they tell you. I don't believe it because I'm not plugged in. I'm unplugged. I got my own fucking mind. Nobody tells me how to feel. And contrary to popular belief, I'm not scared of any white man. I wasn't scared of white boys when I was in high school. I damn sure not scared of white men. Never have been, never will be. That's why I can't identify with a lot of people in the generation that came after me, the millennials. Because a lot of them don't fight these people. A lot of them take shit from them. They let them spit on them, call them the N-word, and treat them just like a bunch of garbage. And they take it. I don't take that. I don't take any of it. Maybe I'm one of the last fighting black men. But i tell you one fucking thing. I love my black women and always will. And if you have a problem with that, that's just your problem. It's not hatred because I love my own woman over any other woman. It's real and normal and natural that I do that. Because as a black man, that's my job. To love my women, to protect them, to appreciate, to, excuse me, to appreciate them, to respect them, and to protect them. And praise the black men who do the same. Nothing is gained from interracial dating. I will continue to talk about it and talk against it as much as I want. As long as I'm being respectful about it, I don't hate anybody. I dislike it. End of story.